We already had a look at Noctua's Redux NFP12 1700 RPM fans. Not really the best fan, but considering the price point, it's definitely an option for many use cases out there. But now let's go big. Meet the bigger 140mm sized Noctua NFP12 S 1500 RPM. In total, there are five different subversions of this fan. Two PVM controlled ones, one spinning at max 1500 and the other one at 1200 RPM, two three pin controlled ones, one with 1200 RPM and one with 900, and then another 1500 RPM PVM controlled model but with an R suffix indicating that it is a completely round out of frame. The one that we are looking at today is the 1500 RPM PVM controlled model because why would you get the slower one if they have the exact same price tag? In an all redux fashion, the fan itself is kept very simple, as simple as possible. The box contains no unnecessary extras and all redux grey finish with a slight touch of brown just to remind you that you are still buying something from Noctua. Inside, this trend continues. A fan and a four pack of screws. That, that's it. That's, that's really simply it. Just like every other Redux fan, this one comes with its 40cm long 4-pin PVM cable pre-attached to the fan. However, in contrast to other brands' streamlined budget models, this one is at the very least nicely wrapped in some of that Noctua cable sleeve. As this is still a Redux model, Noctua did not build in all of those mini optimizations which make up the usual price tag. Gone are the rubber pads to absorb any additional vibrations. Gone are the indentations on the fan frame meant to keep the air moving through and remove some of that noise. Gone is Noctua's second generation SSO2 bearing in favor of the less expensive first generation approach. The only thing that we are left with are the indentations on each wing's end that we already saw on the smaller P12 model. Although there are many things lost when going for a Redux fan instead of a regular Noctua one, it is still a Noctua. The outer frame is still incredibly robust, the fan is still pretty much vibration free, the fan blades are still not made out of paper, and overall it is still a very high quality fan. Maybe not on the level of a regular NFA14, but still far away from the stuff you will find online. As already said, there are many similarities between a Redux P12 and a P14S, which make a lot of sense, because both are called P, it makes sense. We still got the 9 blade design with static pressure optimized wings, just bigger. And a bit more spaced out cause, you know, you have more space. By spec, the P14 is supposed to be pushing up to 78 CFM at up to 1.91mm of H2O while spinning at its max 1500 RPM. And to put this into context, that's 8 CFM more at the cost of 0.92mm of H2O if you would be going from the smaller to the bigger one. And although this jump might not seem like a lot, have a look at the numbers these produce in a hybrid benchmark test. While letting them spin at max speed, the P14S managed to keep the CPU at 45.2 degrees C, roughly 2 degrees C better than the smaller P12 models. Compared to other 140mm fans, it looks pretty interesting too. Compared to the Bionics P140s, we were looking at the same gain. And F14s or P14s, the gap becomes even bigger. On the other side, they performed about a degree behind the Bionics F140s and two behind the Arctic P14 ARGB. The most interesting comparison, however, would be Noctua's own mainstream NFA14. Here, we are looking at quite the huge gap of 5 degrees C. Over on the noise to performance side, we have some more interesting discoveries. Compared to the Be Quiet Lightwings 140mm high speed, which by the way are spinning at 700 RPM faster, the P14S's are starting closely behind. And as soon as we lowered the speed, the Lightwing fell far behind and never recovered letting the P14S win the race. The Bionics P140s, for example, did not stand a chance from the beginning. And compared to the smaller Redux P12s, we were able to observe the true gain of going for a bigger model. Although both started off not so far away from each other, the bigger P14S's speed could be lowered and lowered and lowered further down until the P12s were just already letting the CPU thermal throttle. Looking all of those graphs as a whole, the P14S pretty much marks the center between the well-performing fans and the not so well-performing fans. However, we can again see the huge gap between the P14 and Noctua's mainstream A14, which now becomes 
even more apparent. So where does this leave us? Well, quality-wise, there is absolutely nothing to nag. The fan is built very well, and although Redux is supposed to be Noxia's budget line, a Redux fan will still outclass armies of fans out there. And also the price tag is kind of okay. Coming in at about 16 euros right now, a P14S will set you back about a third less than a regular NFA14. The problem for me, however, is Arctic's P and F14. Looking bad at the graph, they clearly outperform a Redux P14S, while it being a lot less expensive, they just kind of won in every category, while costing a third as much as a P14S. So the fan itself is very, very well made. The performance is average. You will not make a huge mistake by going for them. It is still in the upper class of overall fans. However, if your focus is going for the cheapest buck for the biggest bang, Arctic F14 is the way to go. If you are looking for just the best bang and the price is not of such high importance, why not go straight to an NFA14 anyway? It's, it's a lot better. But okay, this should be it for Noctua and their Redux P14S. Not the best fan they produced, surely not, but it was never intended to be. Plus, their regular lineup also kind of puts the lie so high up there that it's pretty impossible to get there. At this point, a huge thank you to Noxia for sending it over, but if you want to continue watching, have a look at our coverage on the 120mm Redux lineup. On a side note, we now also have channel membership, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also be donated to the sacred church of our Lord and Savior Cthulhu. He, he needs another horse. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.